Hello, my name is Rohan Paul and very welcome to my computer vision and deep learning YouTube channel. Let's get started. So in the last video, I talked about label smoothing in deep learning uh, and the theory behind it. And um, in this video, we are going to implement label smoothing in cross entropy loss with PyTorch. And if you have not seen the previous video, uh, I will give a link in the description of this video. Please see that because that's kind of the uh, prerequisite for this video. So to just to give the background that label smoothing in a nutshell is a way to make our model more robust so that it generalizes well. And by doing this, it avoids a problem of overconfidence. In essence, label smoothing will help your model to train around mislabeled data and uh, consequently improve its robustness and performance by bringing in some noises into your training process. So this is a formula for label smoothing cross entropy loss. And uh, what we do is that we bring in a small, um, small value a number between zero and one uh, called this epsilon and then multiply that with the cross entropy uh, and uh, here CEI and CEZ are they represent the cross entropy uh, of X that is both CEI and CEZ is the cross entropy of I and, uh, and J respectively and uh, which means that it is a negative log probability and uh, uh, in the second term, I am multi I am dividing this whole expression by n as well. And the first term, I am just multiplying the cross entropy with 1 minus epsilon. So, uh, this is the below one is just the same expression, just represented in another form that uh, I have the 1 minus epsilon. And then instead of the cross entropy here, I am just showing the actual log expression of that because this is a negative probability uh, here. And uh, similarly here as well. Uh, epsilon and the negative probability whole be divided by n. So label smoothing is designed to make the model a little bit less certain of its decision by changing the target a little bit. And what I mean by changing the target is that instead of wanting to predict one for the correct class and zero for the others, we ask the model to predict one minus epsilon for the correct class and epsilon for all others and here epsilon is this um, is this small number small positive number in, indeed between 0 and 1 and uh, this n capital n is a number of classes and uh, now we are going to implement uh, this formula uh, from scratch in a label smoothing uh, sm label smoothing loss class in pytorch and this is that class level smoothing loss which will implement the formula from scratch so i have uh, four methods inside it and the initializer that is the init method reduce loss linear combination and forward and all my logic of the uh, of this formula will be inside these uh, forward method so first i'm initializing some of these um, uh, variable that is epsilon all our arguments to this class epsilon reduction and weight uh, and then reduce loss this will just define how my uh, the mean or, or the sum will be calculated calculated as uh, uh, given the loss and the linear combination is uh, the method which will actually implement uh, uh, part of this formula that is uh, uh, ignoring n the rest of these formula will be implemented in my linear combination so i have self ij and return is just one minus self dot epsilon multiplied by i plus self dot epsilon multiplied by j the second second argument and if you match this with this formula it is exactly this one minus eps into cross entropy i plus uh, only the epsilon into cross entropy j and ignore the n for now that will will take care of that in inside the forward function all right so that's my linear combination and then forward initially i'm just uh, keeping an assert statement here to limit my epsilon value between zero and one it cannot exceed this range and then uh, self dot weight is obvious self dot weight to predict the tensor device and predict tensor is an argument to this method which will be a tensor of all the predicted values and then number of classes is just uh, uh, from the size you take the last uh, dimension minus one actually means the last dimension from a tensor 
and log predicts this is my log softmax of course this f is what i have imported at the top uh, uh one second uh yeah torch.nn.functional as f that's my functional module of pytorch and uh, from the from that functional module i'm just invoking log softmax it will um, it will invoke the log softmax function on my predict tension and dimension i'm again mentioning to be the last one and uh, uh, then my uh, this is log predicts and then i have to calculate the sum of the laws because remember in the formula for the second part of the formula i have to calculate the uh, the loss uh, sum over the loss so uh, that's what i'm doing here uh, loss equal to loss dot reduce loss uh, which will have my log preds dot sum dm equal to minus one and uh, uh, log preds coming from here yes and then uh, i have to apply another function which is my negative log likelihood loss so that's coming from again the functional module uh and the this will take care of my uh, uh this 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 part of the formula that is cei cross entropy i this will be uh, this will be captured by this line here negative loss likelihood to that i'm processing all the log predicts all the log preds and the target which is coming from the argument reduction equal to self dot reduction whatever it could be mean uh what are the acceptable values Re reduction i think uh, uh yeah sum or mean uh yes so uh, reduction is self dot reduction weight equal to self dot weight and finally i am returning uh the linear combination of them uh, that is that's why i'm implementing this formula that is linear combination to that linear combination i'm passing negative log like log likelihood loss and this loss this loss is actually the sum of uh, this this calculates the sum over the tensor and then to the second uh, second element i'm dividing it by num number of classes number of classes is coming from here remember the formula we had to divide by these capital n which represent the total number of classes and uh, yeah so that's what i'm doing here and this is my final return value from this function from my uh, this class label smoothing uh, loss and uh, let's uh, now test this function with some fake uh, tensor so my loss criterion i am defining it label smoothing loss i am giving an epsilon value of 0 0.5 i think default value i have chosen is 0 0.1 yeah uh, so i'm giving a 0 0.5 epsilon value then my predict tensor it's just a fake tensor i have created uh, this uh, two dimensional tensor and then my target variable again uh, it's just a three element vector 210 because here i have three rows uh, so I have to match that with three target variables. And so I have my predict tensor. I have my target variable. So I'm ready to calculate my loss, uh, lab, which is my label smooth loss. So to, to my loss criterion, I'm just passing these uh, uh, PyTorch variable and within that predict tensor and my target. And that will, uh, that, that will give me my loss, which is label smooth. Let's, let's run this cell. All right, I got the tensor as four, six, seven, zero, and that's my level smoothing cross entropy loss. Now, a quick word on this negative log likelihood loss, that is this one, F dot NLL loss. And um, what's the comparison with the cross entropy loss of PyTorch? And uh, the point is this, that if you apply PyTorch's cross entropy loss to your output layer, you get the same result as applying PyTorch's NLL loss to a log softmax layer added after your original output layer. So here I'm applying these NLL loss after my log softmax. So from the uh, after applying log softmax, I get these uh, variable log preds and then i apply the nll loss on these log preds so i could as well um, replace this nll loss here with the cross entropy loss of pytorch and i would get the exact same result of 1.4670 as the output from this function that's pretty much the relationship between uh, cross entropy loss and negative log likelihood loss that in uh, these cases that when you apply 
the NLL loss on softmax, it will give you the same result as it will with cross entropy loss. And uh, uh, th the theory is that if we want to minimize the cross entropy loss, we need to minimize the negative log likelihood loss of the model. And cross entropy loss in many libraries typically calculate negative log likelihood loss and log softmax under the hood, just like in uh, like in PyTorch. And that pretty much wraps up this video. And over the coming days, I will do many such videos on common techniques and tips of PyTorch while doing deep learning projects. So do subscribe and smash the like button. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.